Welcome, boys and girl gamers. So this is Iceblade with another YouTube video. Like you can see, we're doing Trackmania Nations forever again. Okay, so due to the other video, there was some people that could not get in the game, that could not get that widescreen fixed. Denied. I went and helped some of them personally. So what we could see was the Nadio file did not save on some systems when you press the X. So we had to go into file and then save and then X. And that sorted out some people's problems. Other people had the spelling wrong, had a space between the equals and the million or had a space behind the N and somehow that threw it out as well. Uh, others had the patch in the wrong folder or others patched and then did an NDO file and that corrupted the fix. So I'm going to do it step by step with you now. I needed to uninstall my game, which was working. And now to show you how easy it actually is. Um, while we wait for this, I'm just going to go through some of the errors that people had in the other video and that was what was nice about people leaving comments is that we could see what errors came up and how to address it other uh, people that had the same error could actually assist people in the comments so if you have problems or you have a specific error post that in the comments it really helps we can make this video due to that now so while while i'm downloading the game again i would suggest do your windows updates make sure that your windows is up to date make sure that your graphics cards driver is the latest release so update your graphics card your gpu your screen card update it then make sure that direct play is enabled on your system so these are the three things you need to do to ensure that this fix is going to work. Now, let's see. Error one was, you don't need to install this version. Now, out of experience, I tried to patch the file to do this video, and it gave me this message. So that just goes to show my Trackmania was working, and then when I tried to reapply the patch, it gave me that message. So people that got that message, it means that you already patched your game. You can't re-patch it. The only thing that you can do then is to check up on the Nadio file. It might be that there's a space between the equal sign and the million. It might be that you misspelled million. It might be that it's not in capital letters. And it might be that it didn't save or the save didn't take. So go to file and then save. Make sure it's saved. And hopefully that works. If it doesn't work, it means you need to uninstall the game and reinstall it. I like me now. <laughs> Second error that came up was unable to determine the version of Trackmania United Forever currently installed. So that means that your files are corrupted. The game now believes it's actually united forever so and what? it's supposed to be nations forever. So in this situation, you need to uninstall the game, reinstall it, make sure you do the Nadio file first and then patch it. Uh, in the comments, there was a lady that came up and said, that she just moved her folder to the C drive and it magically worked. I did not have this error, I did not test this, but she said it worked. And then there was other users that said yes, when they did the reinstall, they also installed on the C drive. And when they did the patch, it worked. I still just believe that they did the patch right that time, but 
there was a user that said this, so I'm going to include it in the video. Then uh, the third one was Trackmania, your video card performance has not been found. So this is when you did not do when I told you to do in the beginning, like updating windows, like updating your screen card driver, uh, checking out direct players in play. If you did not do those things, you'd get errors like this. So unfortunately, uninstall the game, go do your windows updates, go do your screen card driver updates and check that direct play is active and then restart your PC and reinstall a fresh copy, do the fix. Remember, video file first, and then the patch. Also on this one, there was a user that said, if you have version 2.11.26, instead of changing distro equals to Millen, change it to APIJU. So I will also leave that instruction in the description of this video. Then error number four was distro not compatible. Now this is directly linked to the Nadeo file. Now, if you get this error, you know that you made a mistake in the Nadeo text file. So either you did not save it, either you made a spelling mistake, Either you put a space between the equal sign and the word, or you put a space behind the word, but it's all to do with that Nadeo file not being saved correctly or not being saved at all. So go back to the file, check that everything is all right there, file and then save and then close it. If that didn't work, corrupt it. Uninstall, reinstall. A DO file first, then make sure it's correct, and then file, save, close, and then go do the patch. Then ultimate fix. If nothing works, I'm going to link two websites where you can download the original Trackmania game that install files for the original Trackmania Nations Forever game. You install that on a different place or a different hard drive. After installing the game and it's finished, then you go to the folder that you installed it to, you highlight control A or however, but you just select all the files in that folder, right click, copy, and go to your Steam folder where Trackmania is. Then you right click and you paste it there. It's going to ask you or it must ask you, should it replace these files? And you say yes to all. You uninstall the freshly installed Trackmania, not the one on Steam, the one you installed from that uh, file you downloaded. You uninstall it. You restart the PC so that there's only the version in Steam available. Then you play through Steam. But people said after uninstalling that new install Trackmania and just copying and pasting those files into this Trackmania Nations Forever Steam folder, that it actually worked. So that is the ultimate fix if nothing else works. Okay, and the download has finished. Do it! So, just I'm a first time user. It. I'm press on so play. Just do it. They surprise me with a message. Do, do you actually want to play or do you just want to do settings? What? I want to play, man. So press on play. Then it asks, does this app have permission to work on your system? Say so yes. And then you get this screen. It's like play, configure, help, update. It's not, okay, I want to play. And then we press on play and boom. We don't play. We got some widescreen issues with a message saying DirectX 9.0 installation failed. Line 1510, create device, 
blah 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 we press enter and then the whole white screen will just disappear okay so we can click play as many times as we want we can go to the settings it's not going to change anything so what we need to do is go to where your track mania was installed or where you selected it to be installed by default it's going to be c and then program files i have a 64 bit so i go to x86 then in that you look for steam when you find steam you double click on it and then you go to steam apps double click on it then you go to common and there should be trackmania nations forever if you chose the default install location now i installed it on a different drive where it's just capacity so still i would go to steam apps common and then look for trackmania nations forever then double click on it and now we are greeted with some files and folders and we're looking for nadio so you highlight that by clicking on it right click and open with either notepad or wordpad but for the safety sake of this video we're going to use notepad as soon as you select notepad you get all of this now the only thing we're interested in here is distro equals mine says molux i understand that it can be different but distro equals and then you highlight the, the molux now you can either press delete and delete it or you type over it capital letters so it's a m a i a l a i and an n you do not press space after this and this is where most of the errors came in is where we just closed it with the x and systems would save the changes some systems did not so for the safety of this fix you go to file and then you say save then you can go and close it so it is important to go to file and save this and make sure there's not a space between that equals sign and the m and that's it file and save and then you can close it you can keep this open if you want to if you want to see the address where you're supposed to patch i don't need to okay so you have downloaded the patch file and now you double click on that too it's going to ask you if does it have permission on the system and then select the language to use during this installation i'm going to use the language i'm speaking now and then okay then you greet it with the next page which actually says trackmania united forever this is why this is a safe patch it's an official trackmania patch it's just for a different game though but we press next and this is where the other half of the people failed they installed it in the wrong folder so you go to browse and then you take it to where your game is installed so you click on your c double click on it as soon as you double click on it it adds it at the top so you look for st or you oh no so you look for program files you double click on it it's added to the top you go to steam you double click on it it's added to the top you go to steam apps double click you go to common double click and then you click or double click on your trackmania nations forever folder now with mine on a different drive i do the same as soon as i click on it it starts with the D. Go to my Steam apps. Double click. Go to common. It's added to the top. And then I go to Trackmania Nations 
forever. I just click on it once and it's added to the top. So press OK. So that should be the right one. And then you press next and it will give you the whole string address. And you just make sure that that is it. The last part should say track mania nations forever. Some people just installed it in common and that was, and that didn't work. And then install. It's very fast because it's a small patch. And then it says it's done. Now here, people say you're supposed to untick this and then restart your system so that everything takes effect and then start the game from steam and not this patch launcher because this is united forever but i have trust in my fix and i'm going to leave it like that and then i'm going to press finish and hopefully it's going to give me this message that do you want to play trackmania nation and I want to play it. Don't want a white screen. I want the screen with the earth. Yes. The fix is working, ladies and gentlemen. Now, this is one of the easiest fixes ever. Really. I have fixed and patched some weird games. But this is really easy. Just going to exit there. I have uninstalled my game. I have reinstalled it. I have white screened again. I have fixed it again. It is still working the fix. If you did what I did and your Windows is up to date and your graphic drivers are up to date and direct play is activated, this cannot not work. This will definitely work. So, if you haven't yet, please subscribe. We need some buddies on here. And we need some people to race with us. Trackmania Nations forever. And uh, if you find this video helpful, uh, press like. Or just press like because you like the idea that I uninstalled my game. To reinstall it. To refix it. Someone just asked me the other day. Is it really as good as people say? Yes, it is. It's not RTX 2021 graphics or anything like that, but it's still brilliant. I mean, the graphics are still good. I, I, this game was way before its time, but it's so technical. It's so fun to play with people. And although sometimes I don't even finish the tracks, it's just amazing how your brain tries to figure out where to go and you fail at one section and then you remember okay i should do this then you finish that and it's just it's brilliant the game is brilliant it uh, keeps you thinking and uh it's fast man it's fast so see you in game thanks for watching guys